Welcome to the Computer Science Academy of West Hill. In this brief video, we're going to look at some of the apps that are built in the various computer science classes offered at our school. If you go to westhillcs.com, you will see this circle that represents a picture of all the courses that we currently offer at the Academy. Let's start our tour by looking at a couple of projects done in the Intro to Computer Science class, often the first course taken at our school in computer science. What you're looking at here is a Jiru project. Jiru is a simplified version of Java. The Jirus are like kangaroos that are hopping around on an island, which has lakes represented in blue and grass represented in green. The code is done on the left, and then the student runs the code to see what effect it has on the Jirus. Here you can see another Jiru project where the Jiru is trying to navigate a maze. Now let's look at a Python project from one of our Carnegie Mellon courses. In our Intro to Python course, students learn Python using a graphical user interface. Here the giraffe on the right is going up and down based on the Python code that's being written on the left. Now let's look at a couple of projects from one of our more advanced classes, AP Computer Science Principles. Here's an app built by a student using App Inventor, the language of AP Computer Science Principles. It's called Bill Splitter, and it allows a student to calculate tax and tip, and also how to divide a large check at a restaurant among his or her friends. Here is another example of a useful app built using App Inventor in AP Computer Science Principles. This one teaches young students the Hebrew alphabet. Here there are games and videos and sounds attached to each letter of the alphabet. Finishing our tour of computer science apps at West Hill, let's have a look at two apps made in a more advanced class, AP Computer Science A. So I made Simon Here we see a student that has built a version of the popular okay, children's you know game Simon is. Says, for which a computer generates a sequence of tones on a colored board and challenges the user to repeat them. If the user gets it right, the computer presents him or her with a more challenging pattern next. For the last app in our tour, we see a game again using a GUI. This time it's a worm game where a worm is being guided with the cursor through a maze. If the user accidentally touches one of the walls, the game is over. Whether you're a complete beginner or a more experienced programmer, we have some fun projects waiting here for you at West Hill.